This is a Global Hope Central Venus Catheter Cap Change and Line Access video. The cap should be changed on central lines every 96 hours before blood and fungal cultures and within 24 hours after the administration of blood products. The first thing you want to do is get your kit together. You want to gather a mask for yourself, your assistant, and the patient. You want to have hand, hand sanitizer readily available for hand hygiene, a pair of sterile gloves, two sterile gauze, an alcohol swab, a sterile cap, and a sterile saline flush. When you're wearing regular gloves, not sterile gloves, you want to reach over and loosen the cap on your patient's line. Do not remove the cap completely. Just ensure that it's loose enough that when you have sterile gloves on, you'll be able to remove it. Then you want to place a mask on yourself, the patient, the person helping you, and anyone else within three feet of the patient. After you don your mask, perform hand hygiene. After performing hand hygiene, don your sterile gloves. Open the package without touching the inside. You can grab the gloves by the part that's folded over, so the cuff of the glove that's folded over. It's okay for you to touch the parts that are going to be on the inside of the glove, touching your hand. And sometimes they are really difficult to get on, but just bear with us, you can fix them once you have both gloves on. Once you have one sterile glove on, you can touch the other sterile glove anywhere as long as you don't touch yourself. Once you have both gloves on, go ahead and use both hands to fix the fingers, get it situated so that you can be very agile with your movements. Okay, once you have your sterile gloves on, the person helping you will open a package of sterile gauze. Grab the sterile gauze without touching the outside of the packaging. This will keep you sterile. Using the gauze, pick up the line of the cap that you're going to change without touching the line with your sterile gloves. Using the other piece of sterile gauze, Remove the old cap. Discard it away from your sterile field without touching anything else. Then have the person helping you open the alcohol swab. Do not touch the packaging of the alcohol swab, just grab the alcohol swab. Then you want to clean around the outside of the catheter. You don't want to clean directly on top of the catheter where the opening is, just around the edges. Scrub with the line held horizontal. Don't point the line upward. This will prevent contaminants or dried blood from entering the central line. Scrub for a full 15 seconds, and then allow the line to dry for a full 15 seconds. This is what's going to kill the bacteria and keep your patient safe from an infection. Then have the person helping you open a sterile flush. Grab the flush without touching the outside of the package and remove the cap using your other hand. Grab the new cap from a sterile package that your helper has opened for you. Attach the flush and prime the cap. Attach the new cap to the line and then you can flush the line. Check for blood return if you would like. Now you can remove the flush. Now, if you're ready to start a medication, and any time you access the central line, not just after a cap change, if you're drawing blood, giving a medication, any time you access the central line, you want to take an alcohol swab, clean the entire hub. This time you do want to touch the front. You want to touch the front of the cap, and you want to scrub for a full 15 seconds, and allow it to dry for a full 15 seconds each time you access the line. Both the scrub of 15 seconds and the dry of 15 seconds are very important. Once you've cleaned it, don't drop the line until you attach to it what you had intended to.